Hi guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you and explain some of the symptoms that you may encounter when you have a sheared flywheel key on your lawnmower. And these symptoms will be similar on a lot of other small engines. Now for those of you watching today and are not familiar with what a sheared flywheel key looks like, I have one here that is partially sheared. And what that means is that the flywheel key is not totally lined up with the keyway hole on the crankshaft. So what has happened is this lawnmower has hit something and the flywheel key has sheared slightly and this will throw off the ignition on the lawnmower meaning that the spark will not be occurring at the proper time to the spark plug and this will cause you many different symptoms. Now as I mentioned what usually causes a flywheel key to shear is if you hit something while you're mowing the grass and your lawnmower comes to a dead stop. And even if the lawnmower does not come to a complete stop it can also shear the flywheel key slightly. Now just because your flywheel key is sheared, it does not mean that the engine will not start. Sometimes they do run, people use them, and they end up with a lot of oil like this on the engine. So that's a telltale sign right there. Now this is caused because the ignition is out of timing. It causes a different back pressure and a lot of oil comes out of the engine air vent tube. Another sign is that when you go to pull over the lawnmower, it's really hard and it kicks right in your hand. The handle will pull so hard on your hand, it feels like your fingers are going to come off your hand. And sometimes I notice that the handle here on these Tecumseh engines to start it will be broken because people tried to start it. It kicked out of their hand so quickly, the handle hit the lawnmower and snapped. I see that all the time. Another symptom that may happen if your flywheel key is sheared is that your lawnmower blade will be loose on the crankshaft. And even after you tighten up the blade, it will get loose on its own very quickly. Now what I'm going to do is put this back together, put the recoil on. I'm going to start it to show you the symptoms of how a lawnmower may run if the flywheel key is sheared. And sometimes the flywheel key may be sheared so badly that your lawnmower will not even start at all. So surprisingly this one still runs because the flywheel key is not sheared that badly but you can notice a bit of knocking when I first start it up and you can also notice that it's not speeding up as well as it should. Now what I've done is replace the flywheel key. I will start it up to show you the difference. So you can see a huge difference by just replacing the flywheel key. Oftentimes people think their mower is junk, but all they have to do is replace the flywheel key to have it running good again. And when that happens, people are very surprised sometimes that their lawnmower is running again. Now thanks for watching guys. If I forgot to mention any symptoms of a sheared flywheel key, please comment under the video and have yourselves a great day.